What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. It is finally time. It is finally here. It is time for My Damn Hauls episode number 50. <laughs> Before we get started, guys, I do want to take the time out to thank SM underscore battle underscore stories for the brand new intro, not only for My Damn Halls, but for the regular intro we use on the channel, guys. Definitely go give him a follow on Instagram. Go check out his YouTube channel at Battle Stories. He is such a talented and incredible stop motion artist, and he deserves all of the credit in the world. So definitely go over there and thank him and follow him. And you can also get work done from him yourself if you guys would like to commission something from him. So definitely do that. But it is here, guys. It is time for My Damn Halls episode number 50. You can see all the packages that we have right here in front of us. Let's count them up. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven packages here today. And I'm super duper excited. I have had to wait wait and wait and wait to open these things up because I had to wait till they all came in so that we could all open them together here on camera. Uh, I think that My Damn Hall's episode 50 is going to be a long episode, but I am prepared for that. I do not care. I don't care how long it takes. We're going to get through this. We also have a letter here that I'm excited to read. And uh, yeah, so we, we're going to go ahead and get into this. You know uh, how we do things. I don't know which one to start with. But uh, I guess we'll just pick a random one and we'll go from there. All right, guys, so package number one here on My Damn Halls, episode number 50, comes from my boy Cody, a.k.a. Steisenberg Customs. You guys know him. Big, huge inspiration to me for my pick fed, awesome friend. And uh, you guys know how we do it on My Damn Halls. The only way to get into our packages. Is with the trusty knife. And let's cut her open, guys, right here, just digging into the side. I honestly, I, I, I really don't even remember what the hell that he sent me because it's been so long. Like, I've had to wait on this package to open it for you guys here on camera. So I don't even remember what we got here, but we're going to dump it out. And, oh, snapsies, what do we have in here? We got, uh, let's, let's, go, let's go ahead and take a little zoom in action because I really don't know what's in here. It looks like we have this Neville head scan. So it's like an Adrian Neville head scan. That's pretty cool. I did not expect that. That is... he. We did not agree on that. So that is part of the cool deal. Oh, he sent us a No Way Hit. A No Way Hit. A No Way Hit. 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 A Jose head scan. That is freaking beautiful. Love No Way Jose. He knew that. We have... The Daniel Bryan head scan that I wanted myself, I'm going to clean it up, paint it up, and I'm going to use it for Kenny Omega, obviously. So that was part of the trade. So we got those three heads right there. We have, I believe, this is the original Jeff Hardy molded head scan that I got from Rhino's Customs. And then I used it on one of my custom Jeff Hardys. Then I traded the Jeff Hardy to Jesus, and now it's come back to me. So I just can't get away from this head scan, but that is so funny that he sent this back to me. And I don't know if he sent, did that on purpose, if he knew that, but this is that original head, so that is funny. And then we have another No Way Jose head scan, so now i got two No Way Jose head scans. And I don't know what the hell I'll do with that. Maybe I can make some different custom fantasy attire Jose's. We got a Jason head scan. I did not expect that. I bet Brad will be happy about that one. We got the axe wound in there. I believe this is part three. And uh, so, yeah, we got a Jason NECA head scan. We have an Elite 32 Daniel Bryan head scan. And we have the smiling Cody Rhodes head scan. And the last part of it is these Billy Gun Arms. And uh, he helped me out tremendously with these. Need these for Kenny Omega Customs. Billy Gun Arms are the most accurate for Kenny Omegas, if you didn't know, guys. So, huge shout-out to Steisenberg, a.k.a. Cody, bro. Thank you so very much for these No Way Jose's and all these great head scans here, um, including the Jason one. I think that's pretty freaking cool. So, what an epic package to start off. My name Hall's 50, guys. Thank you so much, guys. Go give him a follow on Instagram. And we're going to move on to our next package. All right, guys, package number two coming from my boy, Derek Henry, as you see it right there on Instagram, go give him a follow. He he decorated the box right here, and we want to take a look at it. MDT is the best in the world of WWE collectors. Top three, number one MDT, number two Wrestling Hero Figs, number three BEW. Others can't compare, says Bobby Lashley on there. RKO equal MDT, show off to the world. We got, uh, what else we got on here? Trey equals MDT champion, Dolph Ziggler. 
uh, Fragile, Randy Orton, MDT, SR, Burn It Down. He's got MDTs written all over it. This is epic AF, guys. We got MDT champion John Cena. So he took the time to write, you know, all the different, all my favorite superstars all over the box. And thank you so much for the kind words, guys. We're gonna we're gonna cut this open. Thank you so much to Derek for this amazing package. But uh, I don't even know what the crap he sent. I believe he sent this in strictly for My Damn Halls, and you wanted it to be featured here, so I guess we're going to find out together, guys, what exactly Derek sent us, and cutting it open a little bit, and we've got a little flappage, okay, so it does flap open there, and we're going to open this up, and it opens like that, and oh my Jesus Christ, Lord God, I did not expect that much stuff, but I guess we can try to take it out one by one here. So the first thing we got is this old school Matt Hardy Basic. And that's pretty freaking cool. I've never owned this basic before. This is when he had, you know, that orange and uh, navy blue pants going on. This is actually a really good Matt Hardy figure. Uh, the head skin's a bit beat up, but I am all for new crowd members. And I can definitely paint this head skin up and use it on a custom. And these hands, or these arms actually, can be cleaned up. So that is not a problem at all. Next up, we have a baggie full of stuff. And uh, yeah, we'll just, we'll just dump it out. We'll get it all out here that way. We can uh, sort through it one by one here. So we got all this stuff. Matt Hardy, go over here. All right, so the next thing we have is this sick AF John Cena, like, mini... I think it's called, like, Mini Fury or something like that is what this was called. And one of my favorite attires, actually, is the uh, the Chain Dog, you know what I'm saying? The, the Chain Game Battalion t-shirt with the white armbands and the camo jorts on there. What a beautiful little Mini Fury figure of John Cena, so this will definitely go in my fan mail. I love when you guys send me the little figures and stuff like that. We have a Seth Rollins basic without the head scan, but this is what's great about this. You can use these arms and these open knee pads, and it's an extra crowd member. I'm actually trying to build up the crowd for the pay-per-views and stuff to make it bigger, so that is actually very nice. Thank you so much for that. Next up, I guess I'll open up this baggie next, see what we got in here. I'm gonna unravel it. We got his head. We got his head out of there. It looks like it's going to be a DDP. We got to slide him out here. Is this is this the Elite 36 DDP? It is the Elite 36 DDP. You know what that means? Kenny Omega part alert right there, guys. We got the hair piece right there, and uh, I've actually built up quite a collection of these now. So Kenny Omega custom should be no problem. So we got a perfectly conditioned Elite 36 DDP. Actually, very excellent there. So thank you so much, Derek, for that. Go over there in that little fodder little pile we got going right there is this a lego oh, it's a lego watch so we have a star wars lego watch i'm actually not a big star wars fan but this is actually really cool i've never actually seen like a lego watch before that's actually really interesting so thank you so much Derek, for that i doubt this would fit my wrist i don't even think that would fit face wife's wrist but uh very cool watch right there and then we have this little mini baggie which has some figures in it let's go ahead and pop this open it looks like we got a treasure chest right here and it's a lego treasure chest and it sounds like there's something inside and oh snap we got some freaking jewels in here we got some jewels in here so we have some lego jewels and a random cup to go with this random treasure chest i'm gonna put all this with the fan mail stuff because i love when you guys send me like random stuff that i don't expect you know even if it's not even wrestling related i think it's really cool and i appreciate it so very much so we do have the treasure chest with little jewels in it and then we have a Seth Rollins head scan which I can use as well and then we have this Zack Ryder it's an old basic Zack Ryder you can tell by that awful Mattel head scan that they gave him so we got this cool throwback Zack Ryder basic it says Ryder there you got the blue black and silver going around ZR logo on the back I always love Zack Ryder's logo and then we finally have a Daniel Bryan basic. So a great little haul here from Derek, guys. Thank you so very much, Derek, for sending this in. Uh, guys, go definitely go give him a follow on Instagram and uh, thank him for sending all this stuff our way. But we are done with this package and we're moving to the next one. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have package number three and it comes from Brian.677 on Instagram. Thank you so much, Brian, for sending this in. Cannot wait to dig in and see what we got. Um, so he, he wanted to send this package into us and uh, we're just going to give it a little slice in the middle right here and it should just cave right open like so. that down. Is this a note? What do we got in here? Okay, so we got a note right here and we got this little under part. We'll just get rid of that. So I'll save this envelope over here 
And we'll open this up. It looks like it's a newspaper full of stuff. I don't think there's anything else in the box, but we'll set it off to the side. And here we go, we'll open this up. All right, so we got just a random thing of goodies right here. All right, guys, so first up, it looks like we have this little plushy Dean Ambrose. This is really cool, I've never seen this. Maybe this, I think this is a McDonald's toy, if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong, but this looks like I'm an old McDonald's toy. So we got a Dean Ambrose right there. We have a Dean Ambrose head scan, the uh, Elite 36 Dean Ambrose head scan. Very nice head scan there. We got a Sami Zayn head scan. Very good Sami Zayn. Miss Sami Zayn. Wish he would return. Um, right here we have a Triple H dog tag. It's pretty cool. I actually have a Randy Orton one, so this will go nice with my Randy Orton. So we have a Triple H dog tag. We have a Best in the World CM Punk microphone from the uh, WrestleMania Build-A-Figure. Best of Pay-Per-View. I do believe that's what that was from CM Punk. We have a little mini figure right here of Ted DiBiase looking great, the Million Dollar Man. We got a Slammy Award. Uh, this is like my third one, I do believe. I don't have many of those, so thank you for that. We have a couple more head scans. We got the Hall of Fame Target exclusive Eddie Guerrero head scan, and then a Battle Pack Triple H head scan. We got the, uh, the worst Miz head scan ever made, and then we have a Chris Jericho head scan. And then we have two full figures right here, guys. We have a basic Bray Wyatt. Let's go ahead and get a little zoom out action here. So we got a basic Bray Wyatt in the all black gear. And then we have a Jack Stone Cold with the vest on there. And I actually, I think I owned this when I was a younger kid. When I was little, I think I had this Stone Cold figure. So you guys can just see the quality we were dealing with. Like, look at this. No ab crunch. Like, just weird faces and stuff. So this is what we had to deal with growing up. And now all of you kids growing up now, you get these nice Mattel figures. And it's all just catered to you there. But thank you so much, Brian, for sending this in. I love this so much. Uh, but we, we got to get to your letter, letter first before we, uh, you know, uh, move on to the next package here. So he says, Trey, I like watching you on YouTube. Here is a little something. Sincerely yours, Brian. So thank you so much, Brian. For sending in this nice letter. I will definitely put this one by fan mail and all of these things. This is so great and epic. Thank you so very much for sending all of this and we will definitely get some usage out of every single thing you see here. But uh, again, huge shout out to Brian and we're moving on to our next package on My Damn Halls 50. Our next package does come from Cody Faller 4 on Instagram. Guys, go give him a shout out as well for sending us in. You see, it says, you can't see me. You got what is good, everybody, with the emoji right there. You got MDT Live on this side. We got uh, his Instagram handle right there. We got bro, bro. And then we got, uh, I think that's about it. So let's go ahead and cut this hoe open. Yeah! So hopefully I can just cut it down the middle right here, guys. Ugh. Taped and all. Was it 40 to 7? Finally getting the John Brown thing open. And there, finally, Jesus Christ. We're just gonna take this and open that up like that. And I think we got a little note in here. Let's go ahead and read that. It says, MDT, hey bro, I'm 13 and here's some figs. Hope you can use them. Cody Fowler, thank you so much, bro. And oh my God, he even drew us up an MDT logo right there. It says, read the back, already mission accomplished right there. So we do have a nice note to go. I like when you guys send the notes in there with whatever you send. But uh, let's go ahead and get it set up right here. All right, guys, here we go. It's in this little baggie here, so I guess we can just undo the bag. And then we'll open her on up. All right, so we got some nice figures in here. Let's go ahead and see what we got. We got this, it looks like a cardboard Velcro taped championship belt. That's very interesting. Never seen something like that before. It's a bit too big for, you know, WWE figures, but it's actually, let's go ahead and see. You got a Dean Ambrose right here. So you can see it's pretty massive, but it's still a cool piece. So we got that little WWE championship as well as this basic Dean Ambrose with a great head scan. This is actually a really good uh, Dean Ambrose head scan on that uh, Battle Pack with Shane McMahon figure. We got an Usos rubber t-shirt. We have a basic Billy Gunn, which I will be using the arms off of. You guys already know how I do. Kenny Omega right there. So thank you so much for that, bro. Uh, giving me some extra Kenny Omega arms. We got a headless Walmart exclusive shirt series. It may be Kmart exclusive. I can't remember. But we got this Dolph Ziggler, headless Dolph Ziggler at that with the uh, nice t-shirt on there. We have a... Rock Basic. We got the Rock Basic right there, guys. And this is a very nice one. Shirtless Rock in his, uh, I guess, 
Uh, yeah, no, it's jogging pants. I thought it was slacks. It is jogging pants. So we have that rock figure. We have another t-shirt series, John Cena. And I think this is Walmart exclusive as well. Got the khaki pants or khaki shorts with his uh, 2015 blue shirt. Wish we ever got an elite of that. I mean, I have the custom, but still. Ooh, we got a Zack Ryder uh, thumb warrior thing. So you put your thumb on there and you, you know, thumb wrestle or whatever. And that's Zack Ryder right there. It literally looks nothing like Zack Ryder. I mean, look at this face. My God. So yeah, we have this uh, thumb wrestler Zack Ryder. Thank you for that. Love Zack Ryder to death. We have another basic Dolph Ziggler that is headless. We got some cheetah print arms though. They're like the Elite 5 Dolph Ziggler arms. Nice basic Ziggler there. And then we have, okay, we got a few little mini pieces. Make sure I get everything in my hand before, you know, emptying this out. I believe that is it, so that is it, but we got a few more things in my hand here. We got two random arms, I believe these go on the Dean Ambrose basic that he sent us. And then we got a Roman Reigns shield vest, which will actually come in handy nowadays because, you know, shields back together or whatnot. We have a thumb wrestler again, and it is John Cena, my boy John Cena right there with his 2013 look on in the navy blue t-shirt. And then we have a Adam Rose, no, Neville. We have a Neville head scan, I thought it was Adam Rose for a second. Um, and then we have this mask, so that's pretty cool. We get a Sin Cara mask, and I don't know if this will fit this. Oh, it does fit, look at that right there. That's freaking sick AF. So we got a Sin Cara mask that can literally fit any figure. And then we have an elbow pad. So he sent us this big pile of figures, guys, and we will definitely find a use out of all of this stuff here on the channel. But thank you so much to Cody for sending this in, and uh, I appreciate that so very much. And we are moving on to our next package. All right, guys, our next package does come from Noble Chief 7506 on Instagram. Thank you so very much for sending this in. He did decorate the box right here, guys. We got some Dolph Ziggler stickers on here. You got one here, here, and here. Got the logo in the middle and two different pictures of Dolph Ziggler. I don't think there's anything else on it. Oh, on the back right here, it does say, what is good, everybody, with the signature quotations right there. So we do have that. But now it is time to use the trusty knife to cut this hoe open and see what we got from our boy Noble Chief as we're going to give it a little slice right here. And that may be all that we need to get this open. I'm not exactly sure. No, it is not. All right, now we're ready to open it as I open it up right here. And we're going to just slide this out. All right, and he did write us a note here, so we're going to read that. Thanks for the trade. I love your videos. Keep up the great work. YouTube, Malloy WWE 24 from Malloy. Got the DZ sticker on there. So thank you so much, bro, for that. If you guys want to check out his channel, you do see it right there, Malloy WWE 24. He did send us a ringside uh, pamphlet right here with all the different series in it. And actually, I don't ever get those, so that's kind of cool that I get that now. Uh, we got some Topps trading cards in here. Let's see what we got. Go ahead and open these. I actually don't collect the WWE cards, so this is kind of interesting. So first up, we have a Ric Flair. We have a Kevin Owens. My boy Kevin Owens looking fresh right there. We got The Miz, WrestleMania 33. My freaking boy RVD. And then we have a WrestleMania 32 Dean Ambrose. And it's kind of cool because, like, seeing these cards, it makes me want to go out and collect some. They look really awesome. Like, back in the day, I used to collect a ton of football cards, baseball cards, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, like, all, all kinds of cards. So, um, it, it, seeing these cards makes me want to go out and buy some. So, right here, we got two figures, it looks like. And uh, they are wrapped up. So, we're going to go ahead and open this up and see what we got. Oh, snap. Is this what I think it is? It is, Brad, it is the freaking Hall of Fame Target exclusive Booker T figure. My God, I did not expect this. I don't think this was part of the trade here. But we have a Booker T, and he's even got a cape on there. And I think this comes off. My God, let's strangling the crap out of Booker T. There we go. But uh, I actually uh, broke mine down into pieces and sold it as fodder. So now I rehab the Hall of Fame. I love this figure to death. I was actually disappointed when I got rid of it. But now we have the Hall of Fame Booker T back in possession. He does have the, uh, it looks like the Harlem Heat Arms, I do believe. I don't believe these came on. They may have came on there, but I don't think they did. They, 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 I, I don't know. But we do have the King Booker figure looking great. I actually had that figure so short of a time that uh, I forgot kind of what it looked like. Um, but he did include this gold chain here, and I don't think that came with the figure, but we'll throw it on Booker T right there. So Booker T rocking the chain, and we do have the cape. And then he threw in what I think was part of our trade. And it is just uh, uh, coming out of the baggie right there. 
We have this basic Billy Gun. You guys know why I got this. This is actually what our third pair of Kenny Omega arms now on this uh, episode of My Damn Halls, episode number 50. Kenny Omega arms coming through in the clutch. So thank you so much, bro, Malloy. Thank you so much, Malloy, for this King Booker, the trading cards, the pamphlet, the note, and of course the uh, Kenny Omega arms. So we are moving on to our next package, guys. Go give him a follow on Instagram as well as checking out his YouTube channel. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our next package does come from my boy Ty Goodridge as you see it there on the screen awesome follower of the channel big time subscriber long time fan go give him a follow huge shout out to him for sending us this massive box it's a medium flat rate which means uh, you know it's 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 a pretty standard size right here as you can see it takes two hands to pick up it's pretty hefty so I don't know what the hell we got in here it seems like it's a lot of figures a little hole punch right there I don't know what that is but uh, let's go ahead and cut this some bitch open and see what we got in here give it a little cutsy on that side give it a little cutsy on that side and then we're gonna give it a little cut down the middle and that is how it's done and now ladies and gentlemen I literally this thing's heavy so I'm guessing we got quite a few figures in here so I guess I'm just going to remove this bubble wrap and then we'll see where we go so we've got some bubble wrappage and sweet mother of god we do have a big old box of figures right here Brad uh, a oh my god it's like a Custom Elite Shelton Benjamin with a Jax head scan on there. Um, the Jax head scan doesn't look, you know, that great, but I mean, you could head swap this, and I mean, it wouldn't even be that bad. I like the white kick pads on there. One of my favorite attires from Shelton Benjamin. Not a bad custom at all, right there. So we have a custom Shelton Benjamin. Very nice. We have a basic Randy Orton figure in the green tights. Head scan looks a bit weird there. I don't know why Mattel yeah, I ever painted the head scan like that, but uh, he's got like one bare arm and one tattooed arm. We got a Finn Balor fodder piece right here, basic, but it's got the head scan. You could use that for some custom demons or something like that. We have a Triple H head scan. That's a Jax head scan, it looks like. Don't know if I could uh, put that on something. We got another figure right here. We got a basic Sami Zayn. And it has the one red elbow pad and the one black elbow pad. Very nice basic Sami Zayn. I feel like that we, we've we literally gotten like 120 basic Sami Zayns. We got some more fodder, guys. We got the Defining Moments Undertaker. Very nice figure. I think this figure is very underrated. It looks like he cut the hair off a little bit. Sort of customized it. Took the boots off. So we got some Undertaker fodder. We got a custom kendo stick. Is that what this is right here? So it's like a custom made red and black kendo stick. That's pretty cool. Don't think I've ever had a custom made weapon before. So we got that. We got a Dolph Ziggler Elite. And it looks like this was used for a custom or something like that. It's got one painted leg. But that's actually not that big of a deal. You could actually fix this up and possibly still use it. So we could use this for some fodder parts. We got an Elite 19 Dolph Ziggler. We got, it looks like, is this the kick pads? It looks like these are the kick pads to that, uh, that basic Finn Balor that we got. We got a basic Gold Dust. So we got Goldie coming up in here. Gold Dust for the win on My Damn Halls episode number 50. Basic Gold Dust. I think that's my first ever basic Gold Dust. We have a basic Triple H. And uh, I actually think I have this figure, but uh, I can always use this head scan and another crowd member right there. Oh, snap. We got a championship. And it's... A uh, custom is this a custom red strap intercontinental championship? That is so cool. It actually looks bad. A I think he painted that and it's actually really well painted. Like, my god, it's actually really smooth and everything. So, he did a good job on that. We got a red strap oval intercontinental title, my favorite version of the intercontinental championship. We got some build a figure cane legs, I believe, or uh, I don't know what legs these are, but they're definitely that build a figure style, or these are just you know corporate cane legs without the torso attached that that could be accurate we got a hulk still rules t-shirt that'll go on a member of the crowd that is freaking awesome we got a basic xavier woods i believe this is my first ever basic xavier Woods. this man literally threw in a whole slew of figures huge shout out to ty for this massive box of figures we literally have all kinds of stuff in here we're not done we still got some more as it looks like we have an elite big e no it's a basic it's a basic big e so we have the basic big e they did make an elite of this if i'm not mistaken got the cranium going right there on that big e basic i believe that's my first big e basic too so we got two members of new day in basic form we got another figure in here we got the big show basic 
with the smiling head scan, the camo attire. We got, oh snap, we got the SmackDown Live Rey Mysterio. And this, I always wanted this in elite form. I just think the sleeves are so cool. The, the blue and white's so clean. If you ever see this attire in a real picture, it's so fresh. I absolutely love that attire. We got a basic John Cena, and it is that Kmart exclusive, I do believe. No, it's not the Kmart exclusive. I don't I don't know what basic series it is, but he does have the 2008 Royal Rumble. Maybe that's what it is. It's like a, a flashback Royal Rumble heritage basic. It's got the uh, hus hustle, loyalty, respect armbands on there. We got a TNA AJ Styles Jax kick pad. We got a Simon Gotch with some different knee pads and a different belt on there. Very nice Simon Gotch. Um, what else we got in here? We got some Dolph Ziggler fodder right there. Got a basic Dolph Ziggler without his arms. We have a basic Tyson Kidd in the yellow attire. Never had a basic Tyson Kidd before, so that is a first for me. We have the other kick pad to that AJ Styles. Oh snap, we got a custom t-shirt right here, and it is a Jeff Hardy shirt. So we got a custom Charismatic Enigma Arts. This may be one that came with the TNA figure or something like that. It says Hardy on the back. We got uh, one of Dolph Ziggler's arms in here. We got this custom Elite Jeff Hardy. And I actually like the arm paint designs right there. So we got that custom Elite Jeff Hardy. Very nice right there. We got a basic. This man literally threw in like a whole collection. There's so many figures in this box. So we got a basic cane. We got... Aiden English's arm. We got a pair of red knee pads. We have Aiden English's other arm. We have another figure in here. It looks like it's a Seth freaking Rollins. It is a basic Seth freaking Rollins in his shield gear with his hair down. We have another Rey Mysterio. And oh my god, it's his it's his raw attire. You see it says 619 in raw. So we not only have the SmackDown Live attire, but we have the Monday Night Raw version as well so that is very cool contrast those two we got another championship and it is a united states championship we got a basic eric rowan a basic kevin owens and is that it no we have one more figure and then the other no we got a few more things okay so we have a custom painted stardust head scan we have the other dolph ziggler arm and then the final thing that ty sent us in this box is a basic John Cena with the Elite 11 armbands on there. My God, Ty Goodridge with the huge box right here, guys. Look at all these figures that we got from Ty. My God, huge shout out to Ty, guys. You definitely need to go give him a follow on Instagram. Huge shout out to you for this massive box full of amazing figures. My goodness, guys. How, who, who's going to top him? Who's going to top Ty here on My Damn Halls episode number 50? I'm going to have to clear this out of the way before we move on, but... Thank you so much to Ty. All right, guys, next up, we do have a massive little bag right here. Yeah, massive little. You see what I did there? Um, from my boy Christian, Unstable1047 here on YouTube and Instagram. Guys, definitely go check out his channel. He does awesome WWE figure videos, and he also has a cool Instagram page, always updating about brand new releases and stuff like that. So a uh, huge shout-out to Christian, and we're going to cut open this package that he sent us um, here for My Damn Halls episode number 50, and we're just going to give it a little slice right here. And uh, I believe that should do it, and oh my God, did he put a whole mock figure in this thing? What in the hell is this? Is this a... He gave us the... He didn't, Brad. He gave us the a mock kill, sting, kill. Kevin Owens from... Uh, that. The, the, what's the, the, the... The Figures Toy Company. The Ring of Honor Kevin Steen. I will most definitely keep this mock, guys. This is freaking amazing. Um, these figures aren't the greatest, but I think keeping it mock and hanging it on the wall will be amazing. I... He knows that I'm a big Kevin Owens fan. He knows I love Kevin Owens. We flip it on the back right here. You got the rest of the set. Uh, this is actually the same ring that we use here on MDT and uh, MDT Live Vindication. This is the same ring that we use. Obviously, it's not Ring of Honor, but it is the same exact replica of the ring. You got a picture of Kevin on there, Ring of Honor, a little bio read up. This is really awesome. Thank you so much, Christian, for that Kevin Steen or Kevin Owens, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but we also have some figures in here. Let's go ahead and I guess we can just jump it out here and we'll go through it one uh, one by one if I can get it all out here. My God, he sent us a slew of figures as well. All right, I believe that is every figure dumped out. 
I don't think there's anything else left in the baggie here. But uh, let's go ahead and find out what we got. The first figure that we have is this Dolph Ziggler. So he sent us a basic Dolph Ziggler, perfect for custom Dolph Ziggler's. Uh, the arms will be great for arm swaps with the Elites. Thank you so much for that. We have an Elite 36 Dean Ambrose figure. I've actually wanted to redo this because mine has like some paint chipping and a lot of other issues. So this will replace that one. Thank you so much, Christian, for that. Awesome Dean Ambrose Elite. We got a basic Dean Ambrose. We got the shirtless one right there. A lot better than the re-release because this one actually has the old arm. So we got a Dean Ambrose. We have another basic Dolph Ziggler with that same Elite 39 head scan. Same smaller arms for arm swaps. So just killing it with the Dolph Ziggler figures. We got two different... Uh, I thought this was Kevin Owens. What are you, a moron, Brad? Come on. We got Kevin Owens, and then we have another Dean Ambrose. A great head scan there. Uh, good hand swappage right here with the uh, open uh, black fist or the black tape. Open hand is actually pretty rare for the left side. Um, I know that's kind of random, but it, I promise you it comes in handy. And then we have two more figures here. We have the Elite 38 Macho Man, and then we have a basic Jack Swagger. And I believe this is my first ever basic Jack Swagger. So we are having a lot of firsts here on MDT My Damn Halls. Episode number 50, we got this beautiful Elite 38 Macho Man. I could use this for some Kenny Omega Customs. You could switch the legs and use the torso and stuff like that. So huge shout out to Christian, guys. Go check out his channel. Go check out his Instagram. He's a great dude, big friend. And thank you so much for these awesome figures here on My Damn Halls. All right, guys, our next package comes from Amazon. This is not from anybody else. This is from the good old people over at Amazon. You know, they always post amazing WWE Elite figure deals on there. So uh, definitely... Definitely, if you guys don't have an Amazon Prime account, I definitely recommend it. And I'll show you why when we cut this box open. I got some great figures for some customs in here and some upcoming fix-ups. So uh, this is going to definitely come in handy in the future. So we open up the flappage. And yes, ma'am, if you guys can see already, we have three exact figures of the same. But as you guys can see, they are phenomenal. We picked up three AJ Styles Elite 47 figures, and my God, I am very excited for these guys. I remember when these things used to go for like 50 a piece when they first released, and now I went on to Amazon. They had them for $8 shipped, so I was like, you know what, Brad? I'm going to go ahead and buy like three of them because you know what? You can never have too many AJ Styles. Uh, we can use these for fix-ups, customs, etc., etc., and um, you know, you can never have too many AJ Styles. So I went ahead and grabbed three of those, so we have... Three elite AJ Styles to add to this episode of My Am Halls. And shout out to Amazon for that lovely deal for eight bucks. So I got all three of these for under 25 bucks, guys. All mock. You can't beat that on AJ Styles. All right, guys. Next up, I have a letter here from my boy Luke that I want to read to you guys. And it is, uh, his name is Lucas Torres. And he has an Instagram. It is at LWF underscore underscore wrestling. Very big uh, follower of the channel. I'm just going to read this here to you guys. It says, My Damn Halls, episode number 50. Dear Trey, my name is Luke. And I have been following your Instagram and a sub to you on YouTube for a long time. I love your channel, especially your pick fed, as it is unique since you do commentary to give it a real feel of a wrestling show. You are also one of many to inspire me to make customs. One custom is the blue fantasy attire AJ Styles that you made for me. That one is still my favorite in my collection. I wanted to send a package, but because of stuff, I couldn't. So I sent this letter instead. I love your monthly custom Finn Balors, but why did you stop? I stopped them because I ran out of parts to make them. So I used to have just a bunch of Finn Balor fodder, and that's how I was able to, you know, pump out the custom Finn Balors every single month. And it got to the point where we ran out of Finn Balors and parts to make them, so I couldn't do them anymore. So maybe one day in the future, we can load up on Finn Balors and uh, continue to do those, because those were really, really fun and I know you guys like them. But he says, this is non-wrestling related, but I am going into 11th grade and I've been told by many people that it's the most important year and I've gotten advice from them. What advice would you give me other than that? I just wanted to say that you were one of the coolest people I met on Instagram. Well, I appreciate that, bro. And uh, the biggest advice I would say is just uh, do you and, you know, don't care what anybody else has to say. Just to work hard and strive for greatness and uh, be the best you that you can be. But um, he says, I would like to meet you in person one day, but I am in Virginia and you are in Alabama. But maybe one day, who knows? I would certainly be open to that. Maybe we can go to a show or something like that. 
But he says, anyways, I don't really have much to say, so hope you have a great day. Sincerely, Luke. P.S. The back of this has a fan sign of my logo slash show. Whenever I start it, laugh out loud. It was last second, quick draw. So sorry if it looks like trash. You can fix it if you want. So he does have his logo here on the back. So huge shout out to Luke. Thank you so much, bro, for this. I'll definitely, um, maybe I can tape this up so it'll have some stiffness to add it to the crowd. But thank you so much to Luke. Definitely go check out his Instagram, guys. Very nice guy. And thank you for the letter that will go straight into the fan mail. But now, guys, we have, uh, I think, three more packages left on this episode of My Damn Hauls, the big number 50. And we got three great packages here. And the middle one is actually from Ringside Collectibles. We did pick this up from Ringside. So I guess what I'm going to do right now is go ahead and just empty this out because uh, I think you guys have seen these figures before. But uh, they did come in the mail. So I figured I'd go ahead and add them to My Damn Hauls episode number 50. And uh, you guys will already see what we got um, the first figure that we do have is the Elite 61 Big E. We got another phenomenal one. We got the Elite 61 AJ Styles. And uh, pretty much what it is, guys, is just Elite 61. So, I mean, we got Kevin Owens. We got the Fashion Police in here. We got Fandango. Got some trash paper. And then the last one that we have is Tyler Bree. So we did pick up, you know, a full set of Elite 61 um, to add to My Damn Halls 50 because I figured why not. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are down to our final two packages here on My Damn Halls episode number 50. Um, this one right here comes from my boy Matt Goldberg, guys. MBG1211 on Instagram. He also has a phenomenal YouTube channel where he covers wrestling figures. And uh, he's just a very down-to-earth guy, one of the nicest guys in the community. And he was selling this figure and uh, I think he found one at Target, and I, I was just like, you know what, Brad, I might as well go ahead and purchase it off you. So he hooked me up with this figure, and I've been waiting um, on this figure for a while. So let's go ahead and open it up, and you guys will see what we got. It is a brand new Hall of Champions figure, and it is the brand new Elite Hall of Champions, Johnny freaking Gargano, as you see it right there. Hate they didn't give him the new torso. I mean, that would have been freaking awesome. But uh, he does come with the NXT tag title. He's got his DIY shirt right there. On the back, we do have a little picture of Gargano. We got some NXT read-up and all that jazz. I uh, need to definitely track these down. Really nice side on the side image right there. Look, look, he was even ripped back then. This is still not accurate. I mean, my God. I know he's more shredded now, but I mean, look at that. And then look at that. No, Brad, no. But uh, this, this figure is beautiful. So happy to pick that up. Thank you so much to Matt for uh, getting me this figure. It was a great price. You know, he wasn't scalping me and stuff. Uh, I paid for the shipping. I paid for the retail price from Target. So I appreciate him for hooking us up with this Johnny Gargano. And uh, yeah, we are on to our final package, guys. And this is the one that I have been waiting for the most. This is the one that I have been just so freaking eerie to open. And this package right here does come from my boy Chase from Burnout Inc., and I, I sort of teased it for you guys on uh, YouTube. I even teased it on Instagram what he was going to send us. So uh, this will be the final package that we have here on My Damn Halls episode number 50. Again, I wanted to wait on it. I took, uh, I had to wait a few more days and I think even a week longer to uh, film this up for you guys just so I can make sure I got the Johnny Gargano and this figure that we got in this little, or in this box right here. So we're going to slide it out, and all right, uh, this is what I showed you guys. This is what I showed you guys on Instagram and YouTube on the community page. I did show you guys this. This is the uh, the vest that goes with the custom figure, so you guys see it is a Seth Rollins. But uh, wait till you guys, look look how clean this paint job is. Oh my God, look how clean. The, this is why I went to Chase, though. This is the exact reason I went to Chase um, with this custom idea, because I knew that he would bring it to life. I actually created this attire on 2K. And he brought it to life here, Brad, and oh my sweet heavenly Jesus, you guys can see it is a custom white, black, and royal-ish blue color Seth freaking Rollins fantasy attire going all the way around, guys. This thing looks amazing, easily one of my favorite Seth Rollins in my collection. Let's get a good zoom in shot right here so you guys can see the figure. You got the nice black and blue on the wrist tape, you got the blue belt silver designs on there. Uh, we used the SummerSlam 2015 Seth Rollins as the base so that, uh, you know, the white would come out clean. You got the black painted in there. You got the blue knee pads. 
the white SR with the stripes going down the side. That blue belt, man. I love the way the blue belt looks. We got the gray and black on the kick pads to tie it all together. And then my favorite part, probably the entire figure, is the white outsoles. The white outsoles really make the Seth Rollins complete. And when you pair it with the vest, I mean, my God, how can you even beat that? Oh, Lordy, Merce, that is freaking beautiful, guys. I am so freaking happy, guys. Thank you so much to Chase for accepting this commission and actually coming, you know, bringing it to fruition. It looks just like the figure, or just like the uh, character in 2K. It feels really tight. I think he even did the, uh, the tight joints um, fig hack where you use the Mod Podge. I think he tightened up the joints because it feels a lot better in hand. It feels great. You know, no stickiness, nothing like that. And he absolutely brought this to life and killed it. So thank you so much to Chase for this amazing Seth freaking Rollins. And we're burning it down here. Um, I don't know if I'll ever use it in the pick fed. I would like to, but I also don't want to damage it. But it looks so freaking nice. I don't know if I'll ever just sit it on the shelf. But it looks incredible. And thank you so much to Chase, guys. Go follow him on Instagram at Burnout Inc. Or uh, I'll, I'll put it up on the screen for you guys. And he also has an incredible YouTube channel where he makes incredibly creative videos. And he is definitely an inspiration to me and everything that we do over here at MDT. So thank you guys for that. Let's go ahead and round up our entire haul. We have so many freaking figures, guys. I'm going to go ahead and count up how many figures we have total as well and uh, see what kind of shot we can come up with. And ladies and gentlemen, here we have the entire haul of My Damn Hauls, episode number 50, all lined up. Huge shout out to everyone that sent something in. I am so blessed and thankful for all of you sending this stuff in. It is absolutely incredible where the channel has gone from the first episode of My Damn Halls all the way up to episode number 50. You guys are the absolute best. All 43,000 subscribers here on the channel. It absolutely blows my mind every single day that uh, you guys are what make MDT what it is. You are what makes it the most epic WWE figure channel here on YouTube. And I just thank you guys so very much for everything. Chase for the custom Seth Rollins, Unstable 1047 for the figures, and Cody, thank you for the small stuff you sent. Everyone else, thank you so much. Amazon for the huge uh, deal on the, uh, the AJ Styles. Matt Goldberg for the Johnny Gargano and Ringside Collectibles for the beautiful Elite 61 figures and Ty Goodridge for this massive box of figures, guys. You you are truly special and I cannot wait for uh, My Damn Hall's episode number 100. I mean, my God, we'll, we'll be there before you know it. Uh, up until episode number 50, you know, we were pumping them out like once to twice a week. Um, just about with My Damn Halls, and then we had to slow it down because I had to wait till I got, you know, I wanted to make My Damn Halls 50 big for you guys, and I hope that uh, I delivered that. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys thought. For episode one, for episode number 100, guys, I don't know what the hell we'll do. We'll have to get like a truckload of, of figures or something. I don't know what we'll do, but uh, thank you guys so very much for watching. Thank you guys so much for watching on a daily basis for, uh, you know, the people that are up at 6 a.m. when I upload, or the people that you know, or across the seas and they get it in the afternoon, whatever the case is. Thank you guys so very much. You guys are absolutely beast mode and you guys are so special to me and the channel. But that is going to do it for episode number 50 of My Damn Hauls, guys. Again, thank you so much. If you are new, subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at My Damn Toys. You guys are the best. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. We burned it down.